guys like the vibe of this is completely insane like look at that it's kind of creepy it's like real like Madoka vibes hi welcome back to another alchemy stars video my name is lace and today we're going to be playing through a little bit more of the event however like we're also going to be talking through a couple of the newer ones as well as like an uh i guess kind of a sneak preview of like what brain free is, is going to be and so since the last video what has released is the heat wave mode over here and so as you can see oh my god i love that i love that so much you can see that we've got h1 through to h6 and then we're going to be able to actually get into the queen difficulty to complete those stages too remember guys we only have 12 days to do it so hopefully you guys will be on top of it and actually let's go through some of the housekeeping before we go anywhere the first thing that i want to mention is that for the summer memories like oh sorry so the summer cruising part like this these guys over here, these action points, you should be spending them. So I actually forgot for like the first two days after I finished N20. And then I saw I've been like letting these kind of stack up. So they've been sitting at 20 out of 20 and I've been wasting them away. However, what you should be doing is you should be going for N20 and farming these guys over here. Because otherwise, again, they are just going to be sitting there and wasting away. And so like, don't be like me, be a little bit smarter. And hopefully you guys will still be able to clear the shot without it. As for the next one, we have a bunch of new codes. So remember, go into that like exclamation mark thing and then come down to the code redeeming center redeem now and then i think we've got tier hotel 100 which i've actually already redeemed so if i put it in again it's probably going to be like oh don't try this shit on me again. All right, I'm gonna hit confirm and it's gonna be like, oh, you've already got it. Yeah, so I've already used it. And so if you guys have not gotten tier hotel 100, try that one out. However, there are a couple more since that one. What we've got is sanguine crystal, I believe. So let me try that one out. Redeem now, confirm. And we've got it successfully redeemed. And from what I remember, there was actually another one and it should be summer event. So if we type in summer event like that, I think there is no space between them actually. So give me a second summer event redeem now confirm and redeem successfully and there we go and so in total i think there have been three in this patch so we've got tier hotel 100 summer event and sanguine crystal all right i'm gonna hit okay and let's go see what we actually got from them so if i remember correctly tier hotel 100 was kind of meh yo man look at my icy oh the icy skin is so mint anyway so jane's notes quiz this one is uh okay 10 night him no 10k night him and five of these prizes let's have a look at the other one what have we got from the summer event rewards Oh, we got a whole pool. Okay, you know what? I take that. I take that, my guys. All right, let's hit claim on that. And so we can go back onto what this video was meant for. Um, What the heck am I doing in this video? Yeah, right. Okay, back onto the event quest. That's right. Okay, these guys over here, the heat waves. Oh, this is what I really want to talk about in this video. It's just so cracked, man. All of these cutscenes, like, uh, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but like, let, how about I'll go in and I'll just show you the vibes, the kind of atmosphere that they've kind of created here. It's just freaking awesome. Like, it's the Madoka vibe. It's like these, it's like the magazine style. You know what? Let's just go play through a stage. Oh man, that icy skin. I will never, never stop pointing it out. All right, start battle. Let's freaking go. So let's get the cutscene. Like, look at all that. It's this whole like dream world kind of thing with like the moving pictures, like the, I don't know. Is there a word to describe this style? Like, um, let's have a look. Oh my God. Like, look at this. It's, it's so, how do I say it? It's. It feels so wretched, you know what I mean? I just freaking want to praise AS on like their storytelling, on their style, on all of like their atmosphere and environment sort of stuff. I'm talking the visuals, the sounds and all of that. And obviously I can't turn on the sounds or else I'll get my ass DMC8 again. But yeah, like all of this, it's freaking so good. Like, oh my God. But if you guys do know what this kind of style is called, let me know down in the comments because I'm a big fan of it. And I only really came across it like in Madoka, like frick, I can't remember how many years ago. And this is probably like only the second or third time I've come across this kind of stylistic like representations of stories but anyway let's skip through this and actually play through the stage because like i would say this is the puzzles or this is like the innovations that i was looking for when the game first launched right i was like oh man we got these cookie cutter events and then we got like this and that oh these rewards these event shops all of this is kind of as expected however we have started getting stuff like this right we've got a freaking queen piece who can move like a queen like you know in all of these different directions the cardinal directions so like up down left right and then all of the eight corners so like like the diagonals as well and then we've got the bishop who can also do that like move diagonally and then just chunk me it's just which is kind of a little bit unfair and then we've got the horse who can move like a horse like this is so cool i really love that it's like themed after like chess pieces because for you guys who didn't know i actually streamed chess earlier this year like i'm a pretty big fan of chess doesn't mean i'm any good at it but like i just think like thematically the chess the whole chess concept is really freaking cool anyway moving on we've also got this rook guy over here like oh man i just think it's really cool and actually what inspired 
inspired me to talk about this was the last stage. So I can't remember what this stage was, but the one before this, it's got the pawns marching up the lines to get to the other side. And when they do get to the other side, if you don't kill them, they're actually going to transform into like a rook or into a queen or whatever. Completely consistent with chess rules, right? When a pawn gets to the other side, they get to choose to ascend to something else. Awesome. Just absolutely brilliant. This, oh man, I, I think I think this is the innovation that I was looking for. This is the innovation that other games are not doing. But yeah, back to it. Let's go like kill this queen. So I think it's just going to be a whole bunch of like ass whooping. Uh, we're just going to go around, kill everyone because this Caroline gains 90% damage reduction. I mean, frick, like, is that a challenge? Like, do you want me to break your damage reduction? I mean, do you want me to kill you with the damage reduction on? I don't know, man. I feel like I should try that. Should I try it? Nah, let's do this properly. Let's do this properly. So they're probably giving her 30% damage reduction each. Uh, if he dies, is it 60 now? It's 30. Wait, how did it go from 90 to 30? That's kind of sus. What the frick? Okay, so another one died. So it's 30 and still 30. Okay, so that means that this guy was giving 60 or maybe that guy was already calculated to be dead in the system and it just wasn't reflected here. And maybe they do give 30% reduction each. Either way, I just whooped its ass. And so uh, do I want to kill Caroline? Nah, let's kill this guy first. Uh, water element, it's all right. <laughs> Fire team is busted. That's what I'm talking about, man. Like, look at that. He's just moving around like they're, they're freaking chess pieces. That's so freaking cool, man. I'm probably way over leveled for this. So, okay, there we go. We've got the red over there. That's what I'm talking about. And we get two attacks on it. So let's do our Aurora time. Bam, bam, bam. All the way around. Bam. 13, 14, 15, 16. Whoops. But that's okay. Let's get the one, two, three. And then let's whoop her ass. <laughs> Look at her die. <laughs> Look at her die. It's just like freaking one burst. Okay, well, not one burst. Like two bursts or whatever, right? And then I get an Aurora time if I don't finish her off, which I don't. Okay, so let's just let's just do this. Yeah, that, that's it. That's it, guys. That really is it. <laughs> like seriously, um, this is on the pawn stage. So if I go back to the menu, oh my god, like look at all this. I freaking love these visuals, man. It's freaking creepy as hell. And just for the record, I hate like creepy stuff. If I ever get asked to go watch a horror movie, I'll say absolutely not. And then I'll go home, take a shower and cleanse my thoughts. But like, yeah, with that being said, let's skip this one because I don't want to ruin it for you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like these stages, they're so freaking cool. And on top of that, we get a whole bunch of Lumambo. Hmm. Not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say nothing, guys. But I've been getting like pretty insane crashes on every emulator. Actually, I've I've got uh Blue Stacks four, Blue Stacks five, uh, and LD player right now. A couple of people have told me to try out Nox, but like it ain't it, man. Alchemy Stars has been crashing a lot for me lately, but I don't know what to do about it. Anyway, let's get back into the game. All right, guys, we are back in the game. There are a couple of things I want to talk about before we go into like the um, outside of like what Brain Freeze is. Because playing through this event, there are a lot of things that I do want to praise, but there are a lot of things that I am not overly happy about. And so the first thing I want to praise, praise immensely, is the existence of the activity points. So these guys over here, right? And I can't remember if I praised this in the last video, but essentially like what this is saying is that we can still go farm our own things and and like put the stamina into where we want it to be. But on top of that, we can also play the event as well. So it's more of like a on top of or like supplementary. So it's additional gameplay rather than like taking over, right? And why I mentioned this is because like when this guy released Heatwave, so that thing that I just showed you, these are not taking up stamina. Like it's so freaking good, right? Yes, granted they are a one clear only, but like this just deserves praise. It's kind of like, it just makes you feel like there's extra content rather than like, oh, you have to do like the event grind. I think this is a great approach and you guys already know how I feel about all these guys over here a lot of innovation a little a lot of like the atmosphere building like it's just incredible on the other hand as to the battle pass so uh, this guy over here I think so I think the battle pass has been quite good so I'm only on 17 but I've been slacking a little bit I think um yeah there's a lot of things that I could be doing different but that's okay like I'm already level 17 and there's still like a whole bunch of other things to do and I still do not have the stage 2 quests unlock I think this is going to be easy level 60 right level 60 should be fine and there's just a whole bunch of pretty nice stuff as for purchasing the battle pass i'm still not sure i'm still salty about what happened uh, last time but we'll see we'll see right i personally still think the skins are fantastic but like really the motivator for me talking about all of this is that 
the skins. So what is a little bit disappointing is that the skins a majority of the time, like they are the character models and the live 2D only. There's not really any special effects for that. And normally I'd be like, okay, that's kind of fair enough, right? If the pricing was appropriate. And so like for the battle pass, I think it's like 15 bucks. And so like for all of this stuff, plus a vice skin, I'd say that's pretty worth it. Guys, I come over and I look at these and like after I guess my little regretful purchase, like I don't regret buying the icy skin. I freaking love the icy skin. But when I actually worked out how much it costs, like how much I just sunk in, like I was a little bit appalled. I personally completely understand paywalling like your skins. This is a very common practice. I don't think it's the best practice, but it is a common practice. We've got a whole bunch of other games that do let you buy skins with like their premium currencies, like Ark Knights. I'm pretty sure a lot of you will encounter that. For me, I own like 80% of the skins in Ark Knights, like just by being on the monthly. But that's not really the point I'm trying to make here, right? Like the monetization in this one, like fair enough. I get it. This is their model, right? What really got me here was like when I looked at this one, 1588, and I went over to the packs, so recharge over here. 1588 is freaking $22 for a friggin' skin. To me, that's like an insane amount of money for what you get, right? And so for you guys who don't know what you get, you essentially get like a new live 2D as well as an in-game character model. For $22, I don't really feel like it's worth it. And the reason for that is like for $22 in a lot of other games, like even outside of gachas or in gachas, you're gonna be looking at like new particle effects. So for like in the context of Alchemy Stars, probably like chain combos or like normal attacks, active skills, stuff like that, right? Maybe even new voice lines or interactions in the Colossus, just stuff like that. But like, there's none of that. There's only live 2D and the 3D character model. In my opinion, if it does not have special effects like that, I think like the price should be almost frigging halved. Maybe a bit more than half. So for like non-special effect skins, I reckon they should be like 10 maybe, 10 or 12. And for the ones with special effects, then maybe like 16, 17, something like that. Maybe 22 if you guys are really feeling up to it. But especially without the first purchase bonus, I'm like, mm, I don't know. I, I'm really not feeling it. And so guys, just to be clear, I am not complaining about the fact that like these guys are costing real money. I'm just voicing my opinion that I don't think that these are appropriately priced. And honestly, feel free to argue with me why you think it is worth like $22 for each one of these. But yeah, that's my hot take on it. I think they're actually gathering feedback because the Discord was bombarded with a lot of feedback regarding this. And to be honest, I really agree with a lot of the feedback. I do think that it is a little bit unreasonable. And in regards to this, the AS staff have collated some feedback. And if you guys do want to say anything, they've actually started a new thread in the Discord to like collate more feedback for skins. But yeah, that's kind of it for this one over here. And I don't think there's too much left that I want to talk about within the game. Because the last thing I want to talk about in this video is this bad boy over here, which is the brain freeze. And so it's really easy to miss because like on their tweet, they actually tweeted out a bunch of guides like for the Ocean Sovereign event. And so on top of the existing events, like the summer cruising and the heat wave, which we have now, they've also given us a sneak preview of what Brain Freeze looks like. And so it essentially is a mini game consisting of six stages in total where you build these guys over here. So this is why it's called Brain Freeze because you are pretty much like completing shaved ice orders. And I believe on each of the six stages, you're able to like reach specific tiers. So I'm talking like B, A, and S, depending on how well you do. And obviously S is the highest rank. And so if you are able to complete that, you're going to be getting a whole bunch of Lumamba, Jasper, blah, blah, blah. You guys already know the usual rewards. I think this is going to be awesome. I think this is going to be really, really fun. And this just really adds into like my view of AS just really innovating, right? We're kind of doing like the cooking mama. We're kind of doing like the overcooked, like those cooking kind of games. And AS have decided that they are happy to rebuild these kinds of systems and actually place them into the game as mini events for us. I think this is awesome. I think they are really making like well use of their revenue. Again, and I say this almost every freaking video but they are reinvesting all of that revenue into the music into the like the environment into like the atmosphere into like the visuals into development there's just like so much going on right but yeah that's kind of it for the brain freeze aspect i was actually really interested to see like what exactly brain freeze is and so there we have it so look forward to that in six days time but unfortunately with that being said there is nothing left to be said and so i'm gonna wrap up this video right now i've got a secret message for you guys and that is spooky because i've freaking game mode before where is it oh my god this is so freaking spooky, my dudes. Like, seriously. The heat wave thing, like, all of these visuals, it's just got that really spooky vibe. And so, if you guys could drop that secret message spooky down in the comments below, I would really appreciate it because it lets me know that you've actually made it up until the end of the video. And so, for that, thank you guys so much. Otherwise, please consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow. You guys already know what it is. And if you would like to support the channel, there are some affiliate links as well as a membership thing down in the comments below or the description as well. But otherwise, as my queen once said to me, all good things must 
must come to an end and so she beheaded me so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye